Earlier this week, the U S Supreme court decided that they were going to protect Donald Trump's commerce secretary, Wilbur Ross from being deposed in an upcoming trial that the government is facing over their decision to add a citizenship question to the United States census. Now here's the backstory on all of this in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, a while back, Wilbur Ross testified under oath in front of Congress in saying that he added the citizenship question to the census, which has been a highly controversial move. He added it at the request of the U S department of justice. Simple enough, right? Well, it turns out that emails that have been uncovered revealed that Wilbur Ross, this was actually his idea. It did not come from the U S department of justice. And therefore Wilbur Ross lied under oath about adding this citizenship question. In case you're not familiar with it, yes, that is against the law. And yes, that is something that the average human being would actually be put in jail for doing. So lawsuits were filed. They sought to uh, take a deposition of Mr. Ross and find out exactly why he decided to lie under oath to Congress. And on Monday evening of this week, the U S Supreme court with a decision led by Neil Gorsuch, Donald Trump's appointee here decided, nope, we're going to issue a stay. We're going to put a stay on this much like we just did with that climate change lawsuit so that Wilbur Ross cannot be deposed so that lawyers can't take a crack at him and find out why he broke the law to protect this particular question. And it's interesting. Uh, you can read some of the opinion in the link, uh, in the video description here. But Gorsuch, along with Clarence Thomas, actually talk about the fact that this is weird that the government's being sued over the question. This seems like a political thing and this shouldn't be happening. Wilbur Ross, he didn't do anything bad by adding this question. They completely glossed over the fact that the guy lied under oath and we can easily prove it with his own leaked emails. That's what's at stake here. Not just the fact that adding this citizenship question is obviously going to cause people to underreport, which most of these people would be democratic voters. It's going to reshift districts in a way that favors Republicans, essentially remap the United States and our congressional makeup. Republicans knew exactly what they were doing here. Wilbur Ross knew exactly what he was doing and that's why he lied about it. But thanks to this right wing Supreme court, we may not ever know the truth. We may not ever get that deposition. And at this point, the trial may not even take place. The Supreme court knows exactly what they're doing. They're stepping in, in all of these legal issues that they should not be stepping into for political reasons. Neil Gorsuch done it. It's only a matter of time before Brett Kavanaugh does it. John Roberts has already done it several times in the last few weeks, trying to protect Carl Rove and dark money donors. John Roberts is the one who stepped in and halted this climate change lawsuit, at least temporarily. Now we have Gorsuch and Thomas. The Supreme court is a political tool of the Republican party today. They are not acting to protect the U S constitution. They are not acting to preserve the rule of law here in the United States. They are only acting to protect Republicans and Republican donors. That is what today's Supreme court is all about.